Eleventh Hour Audio presents The Timekeeper by Miss May. you've enjoyed your shopping excursion. I could walk this shop all day. Honestly. Unbelievable. Oh, excuse me. Just a moment, please. Mortimer's Curiosities, how may I help you? No, I'm sorry, we don't have any... Well, yes, we do, but uh, that is a furnishing of the shop, and it is not for sale. Well, of course you're welcome to walk about the shop and peruse our offerings. All right. Thank you for ringing. Uh, Good day. I do apologize for the interruption. Thank you for your patience. Uh, And enjoy your purchase, won't you? Uh, Yeah, considering the cost. I'd better, hadn't I? (laughs) (laughs) But you know where to contact me, Mr. Mortimer. I do love your little treasures here. What an exquisite selection. Thanks so much. And do have a lovely day. May I help you? Sorry if I alarmed you. I'm the proprietor, Mortimer. Are you searching for a, a particular empty? I don't, I don't... I don't know. This will sound crazy, but I've been having this dream. I've gone to so many places, but I, I can't find it anywhere. My, that is a lovely bracelet. Bronze, yes? Did you perchance purchase it here? No, I brought it back from Holiday. Anta. Yes. Well, it is very beautiful. But back to your query. Perhaps if you describe the item you've been searching for. Maybe. In my dream, there's a voice telling me to find it. It's calling me. Calling my name. Uh, It's here somewhere. I can feel it. Oh, I I have to. (gasps) That's it! It's not for sale. This is it! It's not for sale. Listen to it. That luring tick-tock, tick-tock. That's its voice. It's calling me. But it's larger than I dreamt. It's so tall. So dark. So ancient. And I can open this glass case and reach past that pendulum. Uh, Be right there. Please, do browse. think like this, Mr. Mortimer. And it's Egyptian, too. It is. I do have a keen eye for what's genuine, you know. Oh, I know. I've never been disappointed with anything I've bought from you. 
And these hieroglyphs say that it belonged to a concubine of the Pharaoh Ramses? His favorite concubine, as a matter of fact. Anta. Named after the goddess of war, I'm supposing. That's so incredible. It's worth every penny you ask. <laughs> I'm happy you agree. Thanks for selling this to me. Remember, I'm number one on your list. Oh, you certainly are, Mrs. Sewell. May I help you, sir? Um, I don't know. Careful. These papers are very valuable. Um, yeah. Whatever. I'm looking for... I don't know. See, I keep having this dream, and... Mm. If you're searching for a present for a girlfriend, I'm sure we can locate something appropriate and... Uh, yeah, affordable. Not that. See, it's this dream. A crazy dream, and it won't leave me alone. And, and there's a voice calling. It's calling my name. I've been checking all the shops, but I haven't found it yet. Damn. It's hot, man. My, what an interesting medallion. A piece like that must be very hard to come by. Well, a collector such as yourself will find himself very much at home in my shop. You're certainly welcome to browse. I have many items available, as you can see. Yeah, but none of this stuff is what I'm looking for. Maybe, I don't know. It's gotta be here. I can feel it. The dream's driving me nuts. And I can't sleep, because it... What is it? It's not for sale. I know. This is... It's cursed. Evil. It wants me to open the glass front because behind the pendulum is a hallway and it's telling me to enter. I don't know if I should, but it wants me to. It's calling me. Calling me. Uh, coming. Uh, just a moment, please. Young man. It's not for sale. Babylonian, you say? Oh, absolutely. Hmm. How do you know that? I am a master at my craft, sir. <laughs> I agree. Especially after I inspected that bronze bracelet you sold Mrs. Saywell. She'll die with envy when she sees this medallion. <laughs> the Babylonians predate any Egyptian pharaohs. <laughs> You've certainly beaten her, sir. She'll be upset with you for selling to me. Well, she understands the competition is fierce, and that first come, first served is my number one rule. I like you. We'll do business again. Be sure of it. I look forward to it. Sorry, sir. I, I didn't know you were here. I... I was about to close up for the day, sir, so unless there's something I can help you with... Don't matter none, does it? I've dreamed of this, you know. It's called me, it has. Called me to come, to seek it out. So here I be. Your ring, good sir. It is quite handsome. No doubt it has many stories to tell. It can't be refused, this timepiece. I've tried, but nay. Its will is stronger than mere man's. 
You can't fight its power. It wants me. Wants me to enter. There it be. Its door. Open and you see. It knows I'm here. It... It wants me... To step into that corridor. Sir, the clock isn't for sale. Beautiful, Mortimer. Ming Dynasty, you say? Mm -hmm. If I say so, sir, then of course it is. <laughs> True. Exquisite piece. Wrap it up smartly, eh? My wife will love it. Maybe she'll keep quiet about my little oh, indiscretions with a certain member of my staff. Ah, Mr. Dennison. My lips shall be forever sealed. I knew I could count on you. Blast. Another reporter. Ugh. Can a man have a little teeny bit of privacy even as he attempts to do personal business? Sorry, I didn't break anything. Fortunate for you, this isn't an antique. You disturbed my customer, miss. I won't have my transactions interrupted. I said I was sorry. Isn't it obvious I don't sell electronic gadgetry, which I assume you're looking for? You are in the wrong shop. No, I've been searching for you all over town. But this place, it feels right. It's... it's here, isn't it? Is what here? The clock. The timepiece. I'm not on drugs, dude. But I, I keep having this dream. This ancient clock. It's calling me. It claims it'll make me happy. Make all my own dreams come true. <laughs> yeah, crazy, I know. But I can't. I can't take a chance of missing out on finally being happy, can I? I believe you should leave. No. This is it. Finally. It's not for sale. Yeah, you won't sell this. Because it's your partner. I have no idea what you're saying. Miss, if you do not depart my establishment, I will be obliged to call the authorities. <laughs> you won't do that. Because now that I'm here, I can see what's going on. And do you think you can beat me? My dear, you are here of your own volition. Therefore, you must comply. What the hell does that mean? You must be happy. That is your dream. And I have the solution. That wall. Behind the pendulum, it's... it's opening. It is. Open this outer door. Go on. Walk through it. I... I... I can't. This damned thing scares me. Scared? <laughs> A girl of your generation? Oh, I don't believe that. What kind of perverted kicks do you get out of all this? Right. All right. I'm going. Ah, ah, ah. What are you doing? I've got to hurry, man. The, the wall's closing. Yes, it is. <laughs> However, miss, do you think the gift of happiness comes freely? What? You want money? You're out of luck. I got nothing. A small token will suffice. I don't know what you... The amulet around your neck. Give it to me. No way. This is a family heirloom. It's been in my family for generations. And 
It was the last thing Dad gave to me before he passed. Ah, your loss, my dear. Lucy, no, Lucy. No. Don't come Don't in. Come Lucy, Lucy, no. Lucy, no. No, no, no. Lucy, no. Lucy, no. Lucy, no. Lucy, no. Lucy, no. Lucy, no. Don't come in. Lucy, no. Don't come in. Lucy, no. Lucy, no. Don't come in. Don't come in. Do not come in. Lucy, no. Lucy, no. Lucy, no. Lucy. Your beloved father's voice. Lucy. You bastard. You know it is. Dad. Dad. The hallway's closing. Help me. It will only open when you pay the access price. Go to hell. Dad, no. Just what I ordered. The Timekeeper was written by Miss May and adapted for audio by Owen McEwen. The cast featured in order of appearance. Owen McEwen as Mortimer. Nancy McEwen as Woman 1. Janine Gilbert as Woman 2. Jeanette Adamonis as Mrs. Saywell. Glenn Mercer as the young man. David O. Steele as the wealthy man. Brian Holcomb as the older man. John Boji as Mr. Dennison. And Amara Benson as Lucy. Original music as well as the arrangement of Amazing Grace provided by members of Kickin' Chickens. They are Kurt Mount, Kevin Kelly, and Jack Egan. Sound effects from freesound.org and by Owen McEwen. You can find more of Miss May's work at www.themissmaysite.com, including the original short story, The Timekeeper. Timekeeper cover art by Pat McEwen. Thank you for listening. Be sure to tune in to www.11thhouraudio.com for the entire collection of World Audio Drama Day contributions. The Timekeeper was produced and directed by Owen McEwen of Rolling Rehearsal Studios.